What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning but a rebirth? What if our entire 93 billion light-year observable universe is just a single object inside a much larger older cosmos? This isn't science fiction, it's a possibility being explored by theoretical physicists, challenging our most fundamental understanding of existence. The clues might be hidden in plain sight, in the behavior of black holes and the baffling arrangement of the most distant galaxies spotted by the JWST. Let's explore this mind-bending possibility together. The Standard Big Bang Model So, how did we arrive at our current picture of the universe? The story most of us know is the standard model of cosmology, first mathematically conceptualized by the Belgian priest and physicist Georges Lemaitre in 1927. It states that our universe exploded into being 13.8 billion years ago from a point of extreme density. From this intensely hot state space itself began to expand. Over billions of years gravity sculpted this expanding cosmos, pulling matter together to form the vast, web-like structure of galaxies we observe today. This model is incredibly successful, it explains the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background, and it accounts for the accelerating expansion of the universe. This acceleration, confirmed in 1998, is often attributed to dark energy, which makes up about 68% of the universe. When combined with dark matter, at around 27%, it appears 95% of our cosmos is made of stuff we can't see or understand. This means that all the stars, planets, and galaxies we can observe make up a mere 5% of reality. The bottom line is the standard model for all its successes leaves us with the biggest questions in science completely unanswered. The Black Hole Universe Theory what if there's a more elegant explanation, one that doesn't require inventing new particles or mysterious forces? A radical alternative, championed by physicist Nikodem Poplowski, proposes that our universe was born inside a black hole within a much larger parent universe. This idea flips our perspective on cosmic origins entirely. Instead of a singularity appearing from nothing, the theory suggests a physical process, the gravitational collapse of matter in a parent universe. Think of it like a star many times the mass of our sun collapsing to form a black hole, but on a cosmic scale. In this model what we perceive as the Big Bang was actually the moment our universe formed inside that parent black hole. This framework elegantly resolves the issue of what came before the Big Bang, as the parent universe provides a clear preceding state. This cyclical model redefines our cosmic address, demoting our entire universe from everything that is to just one bubble in a potentially infinite cosmic foam. It also provides a physical source for the energy and matter in our universe, sourcing it directly from a pre-existing parent cosmos. In essence, the matter that makes up you, me and the stars didn't appear from nothing, but was recycled from a previous cosmic iteration. Quantum Mechanics and Degeneracy Pressure Here's where things get really interesting, and it hinges on a core principle of quantum mechanics. Have you ever wondered what stops a dead star from collapsing forever? The answer lies in a rule established by the brilliant Austrian physicist Wolfgang Pauli. His exclusion principle states that identical particles, like electrons, cannot occupy the exact same quantum state at the same time. When gravity tries to crush matter into an incredibly small space, this principle creates a powerful outward push known as degeneracy pressure. The more you squeeze, the harder the particles push back. This is the force that supports white dwarfs against collapse where matter is packed to a density of over 1 million kilograms per cubic centimeter. In even more extreme objects like neutron stars, the pressure is even greater, holding up against densities of over 100 trillion kilograms per cubic centimeter. This pressure is fundamentally different from thermal pressure, which supports a star like our sun, as it doesn't depend on temperature at all. Proponents of the black hole universe theory argue that this same quantum pressure could operate on the scale of an entire collapsing universe, offering a mechanism to avoid the infinite singularity. The bounce mechanism. So, if a universe collapses, what happens when this quantum pressure kicks in? Instead of crushing down to an infinite point, a singularity where physics totally breaks down, the collapse could actually halt and then rebound. This is what's called the Big Bounce, a concept that's been heavily explored in loop quantum cosmology by physicists like Martin Bojewald. In this scenario, as the matter from a parent universe collapses, it gets really close to the maximum density allowed by physics, which is called the Planck density. That's about 5.1 times 10 to the 96 kilograms per cubic meter, which is, 
honestly, just mind-blowing. At this extreme, quantum gravity effects become so powerful that they basically overwhelm everything else. This force stops the collapse in its tracks and triggers a massive, explosive rebound. The rebound itself would be incredibly brief but unbelievably violent, essentially, it resets the cosmic clock for a brand new universe. For any observer inside this newly expanding region, the rebound would look and feel exactly like a Big Bang, and it might even preserve information from the previous cosmic cycle. Interestingly, this bounce could also offer a potential solution to the black hole information loss paradox, which is a major conflict between general relativity and quantum mechanics. The paradox is all about what happens to the information about matter that falls into a black hole if the black hole eventually evaporates. A bounce mechanism suggests that this information isn't destroyed, it's actually carried through the rebound event into the new universe preserving the fundamental laws of physics. Evidence from early galaxies This might all sound like fascinating speculation but where's the evidence? Well, it might be hiding in the deepest images of our universe, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. According to the standard model, galaxies should build up gradually over time, but JWS is finding galaxies that are honestly bafflingly massive and mature. For example, the Glass JWS Early Release Science Program which includes astronomers like Rohan Naidu, has identified galaxies such as Glass Z12 at a redshift of 12. That means we're seeing them as they were just 350 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are already a billion times the mass of our Sun, which is way larger than our models predicted was possible so early on. And to make things even more puzzling, these ancient galaxies seem to host supermassive black holes that are millions of times the Sun's mass, a phenomenon that standard models really struggle to explain so soon after the Big Bang. The Big Bounce model however offers a potential explanation. It suggests these black holes could actually be relics that survived from the previous cosmic era, acting as gravitational seeds for the next round of galaxy formation. Galaxy Rotation Mystery Now let's talk about another cosmic puzzle that might just point to the same conclusion. In a random and uniform universe you'd expect galaxies to be spinning in all sorts of directions, with a roughly 50-50 split between clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. But that's actually not what we see. A study from 2020 which analyzed over 200,000 spiral galaxies and was led by computational astronomer Lior Shamir, found a significant imbalance. There seems to be a preferred direction of spin, an alignment that stretches across vast regions of the cosmos. The odds of this asymmetry happening purely by chance are less than one in a billion. This unexpected alignment, seen across billions of light years, suggests that the processes during the universe's formation weren't as random as we once thought. This large-scale pattern actually challenges the long-held assumption that the universe is the same in all directions, which is a principle that underpins pretty much all our cosmological calculations. And this isn't just a small localized effect, the pattern of cosmic spin is coherent across billions of light years. Shamir's analysis shows that the distribution of spin directions fits what's called a dipolar pattern, meaning it has a distinct north and south pole, kind of like a spinning magnet or a planet. Creating such a large-scale, coherent structure after the Big Bang would be extremely difficult, which points instead to a fundamental property that was imprinted on the universe right at its very creation. Schwarzschild Cosmology so, this idea of a universe inside a black hole isn't entirely new, it actually falls under a concept known as Schwarzschild cosmology. The name comes from Carl Schwarzschild, who, way back in 1916, found the first exact solution to Einstein's field equations. That solution describes the spacetime around a spherical mass, what we now call a black hole. The model suggests that the observable universe is, in fact, the interior of a black hole existing within a larger parent universe. From our perspective, the Big Bang was the formation of this black hole, and, you know, from the outside, our entire cosmos would just look like a regular black hole. The size of this black hole's event horizon is defined by the Schwarzschild radius, and for a universe with the mass of ours, this radius is remarkably close to the radius of our observable universe. Mathematically, the singularity at the beginning of our universe is similar to the singularity at the center of a Schwarzschild black hole. 
The edge of our observable universe a sphere with a diameter of 93 billion light-years acts much like a black hole's event horizon, a boundary from which light cannot escape to an outside observer. Black holes as universe creators. Let's take this idea to its logical conclusion. If our universe was born inside a black hole, what does that imply about the estimated 100 million stellar mass black holes in our own galaxy? It suggests that each and every one could be a gateway, a seed for a new baby universe. This paints a picture of a vast cosmic ecosystem, a multiverse where universes are constantly being born. This concept, known as cosmic natural selection and explored by physicist Lee Smolin, could even offer an explanation for the fine-tuning problem, the mystery of why the fundamental constants of physics are so perfectly set for life. If universes are constantly being created, then perhaps only those whose physical laws allow for the creation of stable black holes can themselves reproduce, leading to a multiverse dominated by life-friendly universes. This theory proposes that our universe is so adept at creating black holes precisely because it was born from one, continuing an unending cosmic lineage. Smolin's theory suggests that the physical constants, like the strength of gravity or the mass of an electron, could slightly mutate with each new universe born from a bounce. Universes with constants that are better at producing black holes will have more offspring, and over countless generations these properties will become dominant. This makes the fine-tuning of our universe for life not a lucky accident but a predictable outcome of cosmic evolution on an unimaginable scale. Torsion and space-time twisting for a universe to bounce instead of collapsing into a singularity, you need a powerful repulsive force at extreme densities. One candidate for this force comes from an extension of general relativity known as Einstein-Carton theory. The mathematics behind this were developed in the 1920s by the brilliant French mathematician Elie Cartan. This theory incorporates a property of space-time called torsion, which accounts for the intrinsic spin of fundamental particles. This spin is a fundamental quantum property like mass or charge that gives particles an inherent angular momentum. In standard general relativity, space-time can bend, but it cannot twist, making the inclusion of torsion a significant modification needed for this theory to work. According to physicists like Nikodem Poplowski, at the densities found inside a black hole, the interaction between torsion and the spin of particles would create a powerful repulsive force. This torsion-induced bounce would be the mechanism that creates a new universe inside every black hole, making them not just cosmic destroyers but creators. Cosmic Anisotropy The evidence for a preferred direction in galaxy spins points to a concept called cosmic anisotropy, the idea that the universe is not the same in all directions. This directly challenges the cosmological principle, a foundational assumption in modern cosmology. This isn't just about galaxy spins. Anomalies in the cosmic microwave background radiation, first noted in data from the WMAP satellite, and later confirmed by the Planck satellite, also suggest a large-scale alignment. Physicist Joao Maguejo famously dubbed this the axis of evil, because it aligned with our solar system's plane, a result so strange it had to be a mistake, except it kept showing up with a statistical probability of being random at less than 0.1%. These anomalies, once dismissed as statistical flukes or errors in measurement, are now forcing a re-evaluation of fundamental assumptions, which is exactly how science progresses. The cosmological principle of isotropy has been a cornerstone of cosmology for nearly a century, so challenging it has met with significant scientific skepticism. However, as observational data from projects like the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and the Planck Satellite becomes more precise, these persistent anomalies are becoming harder to ignore. If the universe truly does have a preferred direction, it would force us to rewrite our most basic models, and would strongly imply an origin story that involves rotation, just as the black hole universe theory predicts. From the impossible galaxies seen by JWST to the mysterious alignment of galactic spins, we are faced with observations that don't quite fit our standard story of the cosmos. The idea that our universe is inside a black hole born from a cosmic bounce, offers a potential framework to explain these anomalies without inventing new physics. It suggests we might be part of an endless cycle of creation. What do you think? Are we living inside a black hole? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching Space Facts.